Okay, I'm here in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and it seems to me that I may have found some alien activity here. It looks like either like some form of a crop circle, or maybe it's a landing site. And there's like three pads over here. Let's zoom in a little on it. There's three there. And if we come over here, there's three over here, too. And I don't know if they're crop circles, or... It looks more to me like some alien ship landed here. And that's like their footprints of how they land. But then they do have this crazy weird little line going down the middle. And the one seems to go to a uh, garden. Why would aliens be interested in a garden? I don't know. Yeah, it does look like a garden. Okay, but then this other end of this trail, I really can't see from this vantage point. I'll have to get down and investigate to see where that goes to. Cause that middle line just doesn't seem appropriate with every with the other six circles. It's a very interesting thing I found here. We could have aliens living in Bucks County, PA. Okay, I'm in the middle of this crop circle landing site alien thing. There's one of the foot pads. There's another one. And there's three on this side. And we have the crazy path. And we have one over here, one there, one there. And then we have the crazy path that leads to the garden. But I know that's a garden. I don't know. Where this path leads to. So I'm going to go and check this out first. And then we'll go check out that garden path and see what that leads to. Looks like it leads to an old farmhouse or something. We'll see. Maybe aliens live there. I don't know. I'm at the end of this one path. So let's go take a look and see what's over here. So the other path leads. looks like it leads to a garden, but let's see what this goes to. It's just some woods here. <laughs> looks like there's a box up there. Let's go take a look at this. Oh, and there's a garden. There's some people over there, too. Let me, well, let me look at this box first. See what it could be. No, oh, it's just a honeybee hive. It's not too abnormal. All right, let's go take a look at this garden and where those people are. Okay. Looks like it leads to another garden here. And it looks like there's some people at this garden. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm just investigating these crop circles of things in the field right next to you. And one of the paths leads to this house, and the path goes to the other side of the house. Oh, well, this is our garden. Oh, so you're picking tomatoes and anything else? Yep, pretty much. Okay. And, and what's this crazy thing that you have on your barn? Oh, that's just a wood carving you got at a gallery. It's called Matika. Oh, it's interesting. A wood carving. And a wood... A bench? That's a pretty nice bench. Where did you get that? Oh, a tree fell down in our yard. We just cut it up and made our bench up. You made your own bench? That's interesting. Most people don't make their own benches. Alright, so I see you have some tomatoes here. And, uh, what's his, I guess that's your brother? Yeah. And what's he doing? He's, He's hiding. He's picking potatoes. <laughs> He's picking tomatoes. Potatoes. Well, no, that's odd. I mean, you just pulled them out of the ground. Don't you have to Hold dig on. potatoes out? And they're pretty clean. Let me see that. I've never seen a potato pick this way. Usually, they plow them with a plow. That's very odd. Huh, what's that sound? Oh, they're just collecting hay across the street. Oh, I must go check that out. Look at how they're collecting hay. That's not normal. They're, they're throwing it into the, into the bin. That's got to be alien technology. I mean, a human... A human would have a conveyor belt and want to just drop it. That's weird. I've never seen anything like that in my life. That's not normal way to collect hay. Aliens all over Bucks County. Not just in one house, but across the street, too. Well, that was an odd way of collecting hay. Now I hear something running behind me. Oh, nice car. It looks like they're going somewhere. Let me see where they're going.
Well, that's a nice car. Where are you going? Oh, we're just going to the farmer's market to sell our homemade ma maple syrup. You make your own maple syrup? Well, can I see? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sugar bottom maple syrup. Can I buy one of these? Sure. Um, that's ten bucks. Okay, no problem. Well, let me put the camera down and uh, we'll do a transaction. Thank you. Okay, now that they left, we can get their camper, which, who knows, might be their spacecraft disguised as a camper, but since they left, I bought some of their maple syrup, and I want to go check out their garden a little bit more closely now that they're not here. And uh, so we'll go take a look at that. But that, huh, over there's two cats sleeping together. I'll check out that in a second. But let's take a better look at their garden here. got corn here, which I've seen corn grow in Bucks County, but not in such a small plot of land. Let me put that down for a second. And then, you know, there's that bench that they say they made themselves, and the artwork. Let's take a better look at this artwork. I mean, come on now. It's, it's weird artwork. They said it was a woodcut. What kind of crazy artwork is that in Bucks County? I've never seen anything like that in my life. Don't know exactly what that is, but there's some peppers and some tomato plants. And look at the potatoes they picked. I mean, in Bucks County, they pick potatoes. You get potatoes from Idaho, not Bucks County. There's some tomatoes. And the way they pulled them out of the ground, you got to like plow them out of the ground. I mean, they just pulled them out of the ground. That's not normal. Looks like they got some sunflowers. I'm guessing that's cabbage. But okay. Let's go check out these cats and then I'll walk across the field and see where that other path goes to. Look what we got here. Two cats sleeping together. We don't see like... Oh, I've never seen cats sleeping together like this. It must be weird or something. And if we look at this one really close, his ear is like clipped off. I bet you he's an alien cat. That's how they mark them so they know whose cat's who, and that's like probably an earth cat over here. But look at them, they're just snoozing together. No cats do that. They're like friendly towards each other. That's not normal. Look at the one guy with this wheel. Let's see if we can get his ear a little better. I bet you, yeah, right there. See how that ear's like shorter than the other? They clipped them or something. That's how they mark their alien cats. That, so when if they leave, they know which cat is theirs. See, even their cats are friendly. There's something wrong with this picture. Cats sleeping together, being friendly to one another. That's not normal. Okay, I'm in the middle of this landing site crop circle thing. And that's where I just came from. And now I'm going to go follow this. And it looks like there's a person there now that wasn't there before. So let's walk over and see what's going on. He's waving at me now. Oh, huh. So I guess you know your neighbors? Oh, and this is your garden? Pick some beans, and it looks like you, you have some corn over there. Oh, I have corn. Uh, it's all gone. Uh, these are my tomatoes. Did you? <laughs> it's a watermelon patch. I have about a dozen watermelons about. Look at how big they're getting. Did you also grow potatoes? Oh yeah, I, I, I harvest all my potatoes. I had uh, uh, baking potatoes. Not oh. too many. I had them for dinner. And, and I have finger potatoes and, and uh, red potatoes. And that's a uh, interesting... Uh, let me come take a look at that. What's that? Your uh, bench over there. Oh yeah. Alden and Tara have one like it. Yeah, I noticed that. It was very similar. Yeah, a tree fell down and uh, they made it out of the tree. Oh, and they gave you this? They gave it to me. It was a surprise. So neighbors actually interact with each other and give presents oh, to yeah, each other. Oh, yeah, We get along very well. Okay, well, they also seem to have a... Uh, they had a uh, honeybee hive, too. You wouldn't have one of those also, oh, would you? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Can I take a look at it? Is it right around here? No, I have it in the uh, barn foundation. I have an old barn. Come on. Come along. Okay. Watch yourself on the blueberry bushes. I 
let's take a look at this. That's very similar to artwork that your neighbors had. What were your neighbors' Alden names? and Kara. They had the same thing, and um, it's very similar. Not exactly, but they had this arch thing, too, also. And, and where did you get it? I got it at an art gallery in Bucks County. Huh. Okay. Well, let's go take a look at your beehive that you say you have. Okay. Watch yourself, it's little... Oh, yeah, you do have a hive, too. Now, it's kind of odd that two neighbors have two beehives and two similar artwork. Where, when did you get your beehive? Uh, I got that in April. Uh, of this year, and did they get year. the hive I, also? I think they got it at the same, same time, and they, I think they got the bees from the same place, too. Huh, that's interesting. Two hives, two pieces of artwork, two benches. Okay, well thank you for your time. Okay, I have a whiteboard here to show you that aliens are living in Bucks County. I don't have a fancy chalkboard like those cable news networks have, because they're living in the past. They're living in the 60s. We're gonna get some water. I have evidence of aliens in Bucks County. And the first piece of evidence I have is weird artwork that they've done. And if you look, they call this, the one family had this, the other family had this, and they're very similar, and they're woodcuts. Artists in Bucks County don't do woodcuts, they do paintings. And they do stuff of, of barns or, or, or landscapes. I mean, this is weird. Why would, why would they have stuff like this? You ever get the feeling you were being watched? Like, I feel like I'm being watched right now. I need a drink of water. A couple other ways to tell if you have aliens living near you in Bucks County. Is if they grow their own food, they pull potatoes out of the ground without digging them up. And... They make maple syrup in Bucks County? You don't make maple syrup in Bucks County. You make it in Vermont or Canada. Not Bucks County. I need a drink of water. All right, my second piece of evidence is handmade benches. And they actually, not just handmade, they made them themselves from a tree that fell down. I mean, look at these benches. You don't see benches like this in Bucks County. This is the kind of bench you see in Bucks County, in Bucks County Park. This is a, a human bench where well, these are like Alien benches. I feel like I'm being watched right now. Like aliens are watching me right now. I need another drink of water. Another indication that you have aliens living near you is a weird way of collecting hay. I mean, look, do you ever see them collect hay like this? Like they throw it into there? No, they would have a conveyor belt and just drop it in there. That's, that's odd. That's not normal. That's how you tell if you have aliens living near you. Another indication is if their cats are friendly to each other. I mean, look at this. Two cats sleeping together? That's not normal. You never see that. And the problem with the aliens in, in Bucks County is... Look at these guys. They look like us. They're good looking. They're normal. They look like everyday human beings. They're not like, like what they show in the movies of Bucks County aliens. I mean, that, that's kind of scary. If we saw one of these, we would run or we would hunt it down and get rid of it. But when they look like this... They look like everybody else. I mean, how do we tell the difference between these aliens and, and, and ourselves? I mean, like this alien, you would know. Yes, that's an alien. We must get rid of it. But these, we have no idea. They look like your normal neighbors. And they're friendly, just like their cats. They're friendly. So be very suspicious of friendly people. Okay, now, I don't know if this is a reason to be looking for aliens, but it seemed that both houses both had both have honeybees which i think is kind of odd i mean two neighbors having honeybees i've seen honeybees before but but the same two houses that seems kind of odd it feels like i'm being watched again aliens are watching me all the time and this is a sure sign this is a sure sign a landing site if you see something like this you most likely have aliens living around you now, I've been looking at this for a little bit, and, and this might just not be like their landing site. This might be an indicator to other aliens watching. Because, like, these could be, like, you know, saying, hey, there's three people on this side. And then, you know, like, that's the Neshaminy Creek, and then there's three people on the other side. So I visited two houses. Now I'm going to go visit, I'm, I'm guessing, where that, that hay was being thrown into the, where they were collecting hay. I'll go visit that later. But I want to I get this on the Internet before they abduct me, because I think aliens are watching me. They seem to be watching me all the time now. So if you see something like this, be very suspicious of aliens living in your area. And one last thing. We, we see all these things about ancient aliens on, on cable TV. Like, like, 
where is this guy? Why isn't he investigating this? I mean, this is present day. This guy's living in the past too, man. He's living in, I don't know, the 1880s. Or, or, or the, you know, I don't know, like BC. We have aliens here today. Why isn't he investigating these things? I mean, come on, let's, let's look at the present day aliens in, in, in the United States or Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Stay down now. All right. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to come into the picture. 